All right, so you can see on this side for section 3-4, we have a lot of information about slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines have the same slope because they never intersect, and they always have to say the same distance apart. So it would make sense that they're going in the same direction and the slope is the same. When you're looking at perpendicular lines, they have to do, go in two opposite directions and intersect to form a 90 degree angle. And so the slopes of lines that are perpendicular have a product of negative one, and you can also look at that as the opposite reciprocal. And so when you're looking at a reciprocal, the reciprocal of one fourth would be four. But if they're perpendicular, one has to be negative and one has to be positive. So one fourth and negative four would be perpendicular lines. When we multiply them, we get negative one. Say the slope was eight sevenths or negative eight sevenths then a perpendicular slope would be positive 7 eighths, right? The reciprocal means we flip that reciprocal. And notice on the 1 fourth, I just wrote 4. I could write that as 4 over 1 if that makes more sense to you. Okay, so that's a way that you can find them. Here's some examples, right? So that's something that you might want to study some. Negative reciprocals, or I call them opposite reciprocals. Opposite means different signs. Reciprocals means that you turn that number upside down, basically. So here's some important facts. Two distinct vertical lines are parallel. Two distinct horizontal lines are parallel. A horizontal line and a vertical line are always perpendicular. So you can't look at the slopes to help you with horizontal and vertical. It doesn't make much sense. Obviously, I guess if you're looking at parallel and an undefined slope, parallel would be another undefined slope. But this is some information you might just want to study some more and maybe make notes on, on that. Okay, so we're going to find the, the slope of the lines uh, that are parallel and perpendicular to the given line. And that means we have to know the slope of the given line, so we're going to have to do some uh, calculating here. So we're going to find the slopes and then decide what would be the slopes of lines parallel and perpendicular. So let's find the slope of the first ordered pair, or the first set of ordered pairs. And I'm going to take uh, the 4 and negative 2. So 4 minus negative 2 would be plus 2. And then the 1s, the 1 and the 6, right? The x's. So 1 minus 6. So that gives me a slope of 6 over negative 5 or negative 6 fifths. Okay. So a parallel line if I can spell it right. Parallel line would be a slope of negative six-fifths, exactly the same. Perpendicular would be the opposite reciprocal. So we flip this over and make it a positive. So that would be the slopes of lines parallel and perpendicular to the given line with a slope of negative six-fifths. Let's look at this next one. All right, so I'm gonna have zero minus negative three. So that's plus three. Same thing in the denominator, because you notice the numbers are the same. So we end up with three over three, which is a slope of one. Now this might seem a little strange, but we can have a slope of one. We could just look at it as one over one if we were working with it on the graph. So parallel to that, would be exactly the same slope, right? So a slope of one. Perpendicular, I'll just say perp, would be, okay, the opposite reciprocal. So one over one is still one over one, but in this case it would be a negative, right? So um, if I multiply one and negative one, I get negative one. So it fits the um, criteria that we have to have for perpendicular lines. And we're determining if these lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So we need to know the slope. The slope of the first line, right, is one-fifth because that's the coefficient of the x term. These are both in slope-intercept form. Solve for y. The slope of the other line would be negative one-fifth. So you have to ask yourself this. Are the slopes the same? Because that would be parallel. They're not because they don't have the same sign. 
Are they perpendicular? Well, they do have opposite signs, but they're not reciprocals. So these would be neither because the slopes are not the same. Whoops. Oh, if only I could spell this. The slopes are not the same. And they are not they are not opposite reciprocals. All right, I just like you to think about the reasons. And so you might make that a habit of writing that out. And actually, I usually ask you for the reasons when I give these to you on a test. OK, let's look at the next ones. This last video might be a little long because I just want to kind of put this all together and not split it because we're talking about parallel and perpendicular lines. So to find the slope of these two lines, we actually have to solve them for y. So on the first one, I'm going to add x, x minus 2, divide by 2. So y is 1 half x minus 1. So this one has a slope of 1 half. And on the other one, I'm actually going to switch sides. So I'm going to make this 4y plus 3 equals 2x and subtract the 3. So 4y equals 2x minus 3. You can switch sides like that if you need to, and it just helps to have the y on the left. We're going to divide, right, divide by 4 on each one. So y is 1 half x minus 3 fourths, and this line also has a slope of 1 half. They are the same, so they are parallel because the slopes are the same. And that's all we need to say about that one. Okay, so you can see you can have quite a bit of work sometimes on these. Okay, so one solve for y. We're still asking the same question. Are these parallel, perpendicular, or neither? And we're solving for y on the second one. So I'm going to subtract x. Then I have 4y equals negative 1x plus 5. Divide everything by 4. y equals, I'm going to write this as negative 1 fourth x because that helps when we're looking for our slope not to put the x in the numerator. And so m is negative 1 fourth, and this slope was 4. So these two are reciprocals with opposite signs. So this, these lines are perpendicular. Oops, perpendicular. If I could only spell this. Let me get my A and my U in the right place because the slopes are opposite reciprocals. All right, and I think we have one last one. This one's pretty quick. So for finding the pitch of the roof, roof, we are going to write this as rise over run. So you can see my rise is 5, and my run is 10. And so it has a pitch of 1 half or 1 to 2. Um, the next one is actually a percent. The grade of a road is its slope written as a percent. My rise is 16. My run is 100. And so this has a grade of 16 out of 100 would be 16 percent. And that's just another way to look at slope. All right. So that's the end of this video. Longest one I've made so far. <laughs> and we're finished with section 3-4.